You're watching Minnesota's most watched station. This is WCCO 4 News. If you want to know what the day in the life of a farmer looks like, you might want to check this out. A farmer in Western Minnesota has a YouTube channel that is approaching 1 million subscribers. Zach Johnson farms near the town of Lowry, but he's best known for what he posts online. John Lortzen shows us why his videos have become so popular. I am the sixth generation. During harvest season, Zach Johnson gravitates towards two things, his crops and his camera. It's why he's known as the millennial farmer. I'm 37, so I, I'm an elderly millennial. <laughs> you're, you're on the very end of the millennial <laughs> yes, line there, yeah. right? Millennial farmer also happens to be the name of the YouTube channel Zach started five years ago. At first, he just wanted to give people a glimpse into rural America. I had one video do 100,000 views in the first week, which at the time was just crazy. Now he has more than 850,000 subscribers. About half are non-farmers. And the cool thing that we notice is we get everybody from two-year-olds to 100-year-olds. The videos feature everyday challenges like stuck equipment and flat tires. Yep, just as I suspected, as he said, stuck. Right now, we've got a flat tire on the ripper, so I'm headed to Deer up in Glenwood to grab that tire. And field work in the snow. Obviously, it snowed just a little bit. It's a team effort. Zach's wife edits what he brings back. During harvest season, they make about five videos a week. People ask how I come up with materials and how I plan for these things, and I don't. I mean, this is what's happening day to day on the family farm. Man, I thought I had a headache. Whoa, that would get a guy's attention. Humor is mixed in with the, the challenges and the fixes. Zach and his family donate a lot of the YouTube money they get from Millennial Farmer to an organization that helps farm families in crisis. The Johnsons feel it's the right thing to do. It's their chance to educate and inspire. The biggest thing I would hope to get across is to, to just highlight the fact that farmers are our people and we are still the same family farmers out here doing what we've done for you know hundreds of years. We're the same people out here that love the land and, and take care of the land. In Lowry, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Zach doesn't have livestock, so in the winter, he will visit dairy and poultry farms to highlight what those farmers are doing.